Hello, my name is Jarmo Viteli. I come from the University of Tampere, Finland. And I will tell you a short story about MOOC or not MOOC. As we all know, MOOC are the massive open online courses. And they are very popular nowadays. All the major universities uh, throughout the world are providing those courses, which is good. However, we have to always think about, do we really need the MOOC or can we do the things using some other tools or applications or different online strategies? When you are studying a MOOC, you have to analyze when you look the course and the synopsis of that, does it really fit the needs what you have? And the other thing is also that when you are studying the MOOC, you have to remember that it requires a lot of that kind of self regulation from your side, so that you have been able to study alone and be able to keep track and then be on time in your tasks and in many cases, it's, it's a really individual activities. Even that you can share your ideas with the other colleagues or the, the students who are working with you. From the other side, if you are planning to create a MOOC, I think you need to answer the questions of, uh, based on the model NABC, so that you can really analyze what is the need of the MOOC. For example, in this teacher in service training. If it's so that uh, many of the teachers can't have the training face to face, then it's probably good to use the MOOC or other online learning environment. So if there's a need, you have a solution. And the approach is really the solution. You see, okay, they can't come here. I take the online approach so that everybody can study these things even that they are not at home. So we have a need, help teachers to learn new things we have an approach, online education. Then we have to think about the B, the benefit. Okay, the benefits are that the many teachers can study these things, even that they don't have to travel to meet teachers or the, the trainers. And of course, finally, you have to see the competition. So what are the other options at the end? Who is providing maybe the similar services? And then you have to convince yourself and maybe sometimes funding agency so that your solution is the best one, best one. I think the most important thing when you think about the MOOCs is really, and the institution, is really that you have to have a strategy. Why we are doing the MOOC, what is our strategy, what we are aiming to. University of Stanford have a very clear strategy. First, all online courses is meant to their students who are living on campus. And those courses are utilized in the flipped classroom mode so that the students study the course and when they come to lecture hall, they don't listen to the lecture anymore. They just have discussions with the other students and, and with the teacher. Secondly, they like to provide the courses so that the older students, their own students who are abroad in the training, for example, they can still continue, to continue their studies so that they don't get or uh, be behind and they can progress in, in that kind of same speed than the other students. And the third one of their strategy is really that they like to provide, the University of Stanford like to provide first class education to all the people in the world who do not have access to the proper education. So with the MOOCs you have to be very careful that you have a strategy, you know the need of the people and yourself, you, you can select the approach, you can see the benefits and you can see the competition. We have phrase in Finland. If you don't know where you are going, every road will take you there. Thank you.